All right, everybody, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte F2A85X-UP4. Today we'll do the unboxing and overview. So here we've got it out in front of us already. You can see it's the Gigabyte, the Ultra Durable 5. Ultra cool, ultra efficient, ultra performance, high current capability. Won an award at Computex, best of 2012. Designed for overclocking, AMD A-series APUs, and used for a water-cooled system. So basically, they're saying that this board is designed to use water-cooled systems. Kind of like the SwiftTech H220, the Sidon by the people over at Cooler Master, the Thermaltake, other ones that are out there. Now, down here, they're sporting their digital power, 3D BIOS, dual UEFI BIOS, two times the copper, new glass fabric PCB. Some of the little fine tips down there. It says it has humidity protection, so if it sweats, it won't blow up. All right, spin it around. Take a look at the back of the box real quick. Once again, we see the name. Cool power inside and out single package designed. Here we see different types of MOSFETs and how they work with the traditional being hot, other one being cooler, and then their new one being the coolest, which is the IR3550. That's right. So, so that's the outside of the box. Let's jump in and let's actually see what comes in the box. So I'll set it down over here. Gonna bang this thing up. And by the way, folks, just to let you know, this is the type of CPU that these use, the AMD series. This is their APU. Has both the GPU, CPU, and everything else in their accelerated little thing here. So set that off the side. So right here, start off, we've got the manual. Mine has a little crease in it right here. That hurts, ouch, ouch, ouch. Set that off the side. Here goes the CD. AMD FM2 FM1 Series Utility DVD. Next up, the back plate, which you guys can see is all very clearly marked. So if you need to know where anything's at, you can look at it. Display port, HDMI, USB 3, all of your audio. So let's get past that. Three sets of SATA cables. multilingual installation guidebook got that there set that down now let's go on to the motherboard itself so let me bring this up here and let's go ahead and get the board out go ahead there's also a little sticker in here that we're missing here's a little case badge folks so now let me go ahead and throw this whole box at the cameraman look out <gasps> So, all right, folks, so here we have the board in all of its plastic packaging. See, it's completely sealed in the back here. Gonna go ahead and break this little tape seal. And let's bring the board out and let's sit it down and let's start going over it. So, since we have the rear I.O. up first, Let's set the board out here so the camera can get a good shot on it. And let's talk about the rear I.O. First up, we've got the legacy PS2, both keyboard and mouse port. Great to have that. A lot of times you cannot access the keyboard sometimes the very first time you boot up a system unless you have that. So I prefer to have it. We have two of the first USB 3.0 ports. As far as graphical support, we have VGA, DVI, DisplayPort and HDMI all on the rear I.O. Very impressed with that, by the way. Next up, we have the eSATA port. That's the red port here on the bottom. Two USB 2.0 ports. An additional set of the USB 3.0 ports. Gigabyte LAN. Now, as far as the audio goes, we have both digital being optical right here and then analog right here. So you have the best of both worlds, whatever you need to have. Starting up here at the top of the board, we have our first of the system fans. System fan two is located right here on top. Eight pin power connector. Then we're going to move over. 
Over on the far side, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's the CMOS clear switch right here. It's a little button. I'll try to bring it up closer. Maybe so the camera can see that. It's right here. So we got that. Bring it back over here. Now let's talk about the ZIF area. You can see all of their high-end caps. Plenty of room, actually, around the ZIF socket, as you guys can see here. They are talking about they can use water coolers and all that. Well, there's actually plenty of room all the way around here for this, as you guys can see. Now we also see the first CPU fan. It's located down here. I'm going to spin the board around on its side. Here we can see the memory slots. 24 pin power. Here's the onboard power switch. You guys can see that right there. And here's the reset switch, this little thing down here. So now let's flip the board back. Um, actually, let's take a look here because I still find this interesting. Let's take a look here and uh, still says ATI. So even though, you know, AMD is still the one, you know, with their name on the ownership, you know, it still says ATI Crossfire X right there. And then next to that, we see the serial ATA. Now, as we take a look down at the bottom, we can see right here, these are all SATA 3, SATA 3, SATA 3. See all those right there? So you have six of those. They're all SATA 3. Next up, we have a little display port down here. This will tell you if you have any system errors or anything like that. Now, let me spin the board around again. Next up, let's talk about the PCIe support. So we have one two, three of the PCIe 1X. We have a single PCIe 16X, PCIe 8X right here, standard PCIe slot right here, and down at the bottom we have another PCIe 4X slot all the way at the bottom down there. Now also while we're down at the bottom, we'll try to come down here. You guys can see that right here they're all color coordinated. We also have another eSATA external port right here, which is also SATA 3. Another system fan connector right here. All kinds of various connections down here, including another USB 3.0 port. So over here, some of the additional chips. And you can clearly see right here all the different PCIe stuff. I probably should have held it that way when I showed it to you guys. It probably would have been better, so my apologies on that. I'll learn... So that's how I should have actually showed it to you guys, because this way you can clearly see PCIe 1, PCIe 2, PCIe 3, uh, 16, 8, and 4, and your standard PCI. All right, folks, so there you have it, the F2A85X-UP4. Now, it's a long thing to swallow, a long name. But anyways, I hope you guys like that. That's the unboxing and just showing you this board pretty much up close. I'll be installing it in the system and seeing how it works as well. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If so, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button and show me that love. Also, we're coming up on 80,000 subscribers. So that means I'm going to be having another great big giveaway. So if you're not sub, make sure you're sub and tell your friends so that they don't miss out on anything here on Tech of Tomorrow. See you folks back here on the channel.